what's up YouTube, it's PZS in here. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys, well not really like explaining, but more so just sort of walking through I guess. You know, I'm doing this for myself, I haven't really done this before. Um, you know, I, what I'm going to be doing here is as you can see I've got this drive here. I'm not really going to, well I guess it will focus in on it. You can see PZSCN. Um, this is actually, if you remember from way long time ago, um, when I did an unboxing of a Seagate, or excuse me, of a one terabyte external hard drive, this is actually that hard drive, all right? I've got this thing currently plugged in. It is right down there. As you can see, it's in a very inconspicuous area. Um, yeah, that's it. So, there you go. What I'm going to be doing is, the first thing I want to do here is I want to make sure I get all the files off of this drive that I want to keep, all right? And then, after that, I'm going to format this thing, uh, and I want to, I'm going to try and figure out if I can get rid of that Western Digital Smartware. That is something that I don't want to do, have to, anything to do with. I'm not even going to double click that icon, unless if I simply have to, but I, I don't plan on double clicking that icon, um, because I don't want to install that at all, because, yeah, it's annoying. Um... If I had WD Smartware on this thing, I would really be quite upset with myself. So, yeah. But I'm going to be formatting this thing, you know, pretty much as to the best of my ability. And then I'm going to partition it into two different drives. And one of those partitions is going to be used as a time machine backup. Um, I feel like I've used this computer enough to the point where I really should be con concerned about backing up my files. Um, and, yeah, you know, it's very likely I could be getting, like... I don't know, if I were to get like another iMac or something, if that were ever to happen, um, and then I'd have an easy way to back it up. I don't think I'd actually be, you know, I don't think I'd actually want to transfer all these files over to like if I got a MacBook Pro anytime soon, but if I got like an iMac, I'd want to make sure to keep everything on there. I think if I get a MacBook Pro, I'm going to start fresh, but yeah, there you go, that's that. Um, so yeah, and then the other one, the other partition I'm going to be using uh, the other partition is going to be used for doing stuff, well, for mostly saving my, uh, you know, how I have, have a Minecraft channel, channel, um, youtube.com slash pizza mine and crafting, link is in the description, um, I'm going to, uh, want, I'm, fed, you know, the other half of the partition, no, the other half of the drive is going to be used to store those files, um, because the hard drive built in this iMac is only, um, 300 gigabytes, 320 gigabytes or so, and that's not a lot. I've already got 200 gigabytes currently in use, and that's really not a lot. So I'd like to be able to keep the uh, internal hard drive free because it'll help the performance, and you know, yeah, <laughs> it just makes sense to me. So, anyways, that is basically that. So what I was doing, um, I actually this is like my third take of this video because my first take was perfectly fine until I accidentally formatted the SD card and then the second take I've kind of messed up in but what I've been doing you know since I formatted the memory card is I've been going into this and I've been looking to see if there's anything on this thing that I want to keep like for instance there's a few of these little video folders in here that I want to hold on to but yeah I'm just trying to figure out what how I'm where I'm going to put them cuz they do take up I don't, I don't know if my uh, internal hard drive will be able to hold it all, so I might need to go in and maybe delete a few uh, ScreenFlow project files that I'm not, that I'm currently done with, and we'll see how that goes, I guess. So yeah, that's currently what I'm in the process of doing. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera, and then when I'm done, I will get back to you guys, and we will work on getting this thing set up, and we'll be in ScreenFlow too. So don't worry, it's not only gonna be camera video. Okay, just to show you guys what I'm doing here. What I'm going to be doing for the files that I want to keep is I'm going to put them in this folder here called Files I'm Keeping. And I'm currently copying my first, well it's a folder, but yeah, I'm currently copying my first uh, folder into it. As you can see, it's huge. It is huge. Actually, it's two folders. I'm copying two folders into it. Um, but collectively, they are 18 gigabytes in size. Jeez, they're actually from uh, some beach trip videos that I did a while ago. Which I don't think I'm going to upload, but I would like to hold on to them just because, you know, they are family vacation. <laughs> Even though they might be a little bit, you know, meh. I don't know. I still want to hold on to them. So, yeah. Okay, so, 
I have gone through my um, external hard drive and I've found pretty much all the files that I know I want to keep. Um, so here it is in this folder here. You know, files I'm keeping. Just dragged and dropped them in. Um, this folder, you know, is pretty big. Where's the file? So I have 32 gigabytes. I mean, that's a lot of data. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over here so it's out of the way. I'm going to hit clean up. And I think it's time to format this thing. Now, I've been trying to go in here and figure out how to get rid of this thing. I kind of want to browse through it, but I'm scared that if I double click it, it's going to start asking me to install things. So, yeah, I could go ahead and eject it, but it's actually going to come back. So, yeah, I didn't know that it was that annoying to deal with. I'm going to figure out something for that. I think I could probably get rid of it if I tried hard enough. Um, like, if I, if I actually eject it here, I'll actually get this stuff popping up. You know, I normally, I, before I wouldn't actually be able to see this stuff, but now I can. But the thing is that I can't really go in here and erase. Oh! I can now! Okay. It wasn't letting me before. So I want to get rid of this virtual CD. Is it actually going to do it? I wonder. Oh. Uh, erase complete, apparently. Uh-huh. Yeah. Erase has been complete, I guess. <laughs> and of course now it's not there anymore, so, okay. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, yeah, I, I clicked on I clicked on the uh, my book here. That okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under format and I'm gonna choose Mac OS Extended Journaled. I wish I could go in here and like zero out the the disk, but I don't see how to do that. Like I thought that was there was a way to go in here and like zero out everything. Like what's this raid? I can't do that. Um, you know all that such. Um, it's kind of confusing. I think, I, I, yeah, so I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to format this. I've got it set to the fastest. You know, if you go through here, you can read what each of these do if you want to read through it. Sort of pause the video as I'm sliding the slider. Um, honestly, I really don't care much about all the data on here. Like, I, well, I don't really care if, like, it were to somehow be, you know, recovered. So, man, I'm just going to go for the fastest. And I'm going to hit erase. Bam. And again, even though it's like my fourth time checking, I really feel the need to just go in here and double, like, triple check. Um, and then I'm going to, again, I've got everything set up here. I've got this named untitled. You know, I could go in here and switch this, but I'm going to go ahead and erase it. I want to erase it first. And yeah, so erase. We're going to do it this time. And it is done. No, nope, it's not. It is still formatting. Um, sweet. So, if you look down here where the slider is, uh, it's not really moving that fast. This is a terabyte drive, so... Yeah. <laughs> it, it'll be a while. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and... Oh! It's done. Nice. I'm not going to hit... I'm not going to hit that yet. I'm actually going to do decide later. Um... And what am I actually going to do? That thing that just popped up, by the way, was asking me if I want to use Time Machine. Now that I've got this completely empty drive, I'm going to go ahead and... I will delete that. I will delete this. This is going to be deleted somehow. That virtual CD, I'm going to delete that. No worries. Um, I will figure it out. Even if I have to go in through the terminal, I will figure it out. So how big are, okay, 499 gigs, bam. So I want these to be Mac OS extended each. Let's have this one, hmm, let me think about this. I want this one to be, let's just call this time machine, yeah. Um, and then this one's going to be, what should I call this one? Hmm. Um. I'll just call it videos. I can always rename it later. And again, I want to make sure that this is 
Mac OS extended journal, so videos. Alright, so bam and bam. I want to make this one a little bit bigger. Well, how much space do I get with this here? Um, the capacity, the total capacity is 319, so I could make this a little bit smaller, I think. I think I can make this one a little bit smaller. I really don't know how Time Machine works. Um, maybe I'll keep it at this size. Maybe I'll make it a tad bit smaller. No, you know what? I'm going to keep it at the... I'm going to keep it... You know what? Let's go for... I don't know. <laughs> I really have no idea. For... Let's just go for straight up... 450, I guess. Yeah. Um, bam. 450, and... Yeah, that'll give me a little bit more space to put videos in. So that's still a, lo a little bit bigger than the actual hard drive itself. We'll see if this works. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit apply, and I'm going to partition it. So there we go. And it's now partitioning. So it's currently formatting it. And then it will repartition. I'm going to take my sweater off because it's getting quite toasty in here. Alright, here we go. Do I want to use Time Machine to back up with Time Machine? You know what? I do. Let's go ahead and let's set this up. Was that all it took, seriously? Okay, now. So what I want to do... Time Machine has already been selected and it's been turned on. Sweet. And this looks like a backup thing. Is that the Time Machine logo? Waiting to back up. Bam. So, awesome. Let me see if what we have here in options. So, it's Time Machine. Uh, ex <laughs> yeah, obviously want to exclude those. Um, uh, yeah, we can do that, I guess. Okay, let's go ahead and let's hit cancel on that. And we are good. So, what I think I'm going to go and do is I'm going to go and hit... Oh, it's backing up already. Nice. So there we go. I've got a time machine back up now. So that's awesome. I'm pretty stoked about that. I wonder how much of my uh, performance is going to be... Um, or how much... Like... Eh. Yeah. If I'm going to be recording like a Minecraft video or something, I might want to go in here and maybe pause the backup if it's currently in the process of backing it up beforehand. But yeah, that shouldn't be too, too, too bad. So, as you can see, where are we at? Uh, who cares? <laughs> Alright, so now I've got this thing here, which I can use for my videos. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to wait for this to finish um, backing up, and then... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 20 hours? Does this thing really take 20 hours to do? Oh, my gosh. 20 hours. That's... Do I have to leave my computer on 20 hours? What if I turn it off? I don't want to be sitting here 20 hours. I don't want to leave this thing on that long. Jeez, hang on. Maybe I can make that not take so long. I'm going to hit stop backing up. I'm going to go back under time machine. Whoa. <laughs> There's that. And it looks like I can go through here and, like, these are, like, different ones that I can browse through. Um, that's kind of cool. Alright, so I'm going to double click on this. Backups, yeah, alright. So what I want to do, let me see, I'm going to go under my system preferences. Um, time machine. Bam. I want to go under options. I need to figure out some things that I don't necessarily want to be backed up with this thing. Um because that's going to take a while. Maybe one of the things I can go ahead and do is I can start deleting some of these um, these things here. And then, actually, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys a quick tip here in case you're wondering. If you go into your terminal, alright, go into your terminal, the command rm-rf, and then you can take and drag some files in. I actually really don't need any of these project files because I've got them all rendered. Enter. It's a lot quicker than deleting, you know, with the trash can here. So, yeah. I actually need to do... 
RF. Uh, I need to delete this copy that I made. I pretty much can delete like everything in here. Um, because all this stuff has been, I've caught up on everything, so. Yeah, here we go. Bam. Sweet dealio. And, you know, I'm just going to go through here and delete some of these unnecessary projects. Yeah, I'm going to go in and hit enter, and they're gone. So, yeah, that'll help a little bit. And then I can go in, you know, through my little time machine preferences. And I can go in here, let's see, options, add. And I can go in here and I can choose certain things that don't necessarily, oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff there. Like, for instance, let me show you that. I don't, I don't need to be um, backing up all the other user accounts, like... Sorry if I'm going out of frame here. Like, I really have no use for these other users here needing to be backed up. Like, is there a way I can, like, select that entire thing and just, like, everything here? Like, yeah. Or I could maybe do it like this. Because I don't need those to be. I don't need those. Yeah. Well, it's not a whole lot, but I'm going to hit save on that. Um, let me see here, yeah, maybe some of these things I can start copying over to, whoa, okay, so yeah, as you can see, we've got a little bit less, we've actually quite significantly lowered the uh, backup size there, there, just did a, uh, a sound sync, so not too bad, but as you can see, it's taking a while, like per gigabyte, that's... Ridic I think this would probably take about maybe two hours. No, definitely longer than two hours. Ten hours, actually. <laughs> wow. Um. Yeah. I. I wonder. I wonder if there's a way for. You know what the thing is, is that the first backup is going to be the longest backup. That is how it works. The first backup is the longest backup. All the subsequent backups from that are not going to take nearly as long because it's just recording different changes. So what I do need to do here is I do need to let this thing sit here and back itself up. I can even close out some of these programs like the terminal. I don't need to keep this open. I'll be closing out a screen flow when I'm done with this video. Um, yeah, that'll be that, and uh, we'll be uh, all set. So it'll just, and you know, from here on, it'll record changes. So it'll take a little bit less time. So for some reason, that never registered with me uh, at first. But yeah, this is gonna have to be a long first backup, unfortunately. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna start sort of moving stuff, you know, onto. Well, maybe I'll start moving stuff onto the videos thing. I don't really need to, but. Eh. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to call this the end of the video. If I upload it, hopefully it helped you. So, yeah, thank you all for watching, and adios. Command, shift.